What do you think about this information? Let's find out with me. The department came about as part of £2.9 million of funding that was given by the government. Princess had arrived in Northampton to open a new hospital department. The Princess Royal was in the town to open Northampton General Hospital's new pediatric emergency department on Tuesday. The facility, which cost £2.9 million and has been built over seven months, will improve care for around 28,000 children across the county. The Princess Royal arrived at the hospital and was received by the Lord Lieutenant of Northamptonshire, James Saunders Watson. Her Royal Highness then met senior hospital leaders, clinicians, volunteers, and key NHS partners involved in the county's impressive response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Then she received a tour of the new department, before unveiling a plaque to officially open it. Michelle Co, Emergency Department Matron, showing HRH the Princess Royal around the new department, image. NGH. The hospital's health bosses have said that it was an honour for the Royal to open the new department. Northampton General Hospital's urgent care matron, Michelle Coe, said, It was a great honour and very exciting for our team to welcome the Princess Royal to officially open our fantastic new paediatric emergency department. For children and young people, and their families, the new department creates a dedicated, safe, child-friendly environment, in which to receive the help they need during times of illness or injury. It has its own entrance, which is entirely separate, and is a huge improvement on the previous pediatric area which only had three rooms, and was located inside the hospital's main ed. Inside the new facility, there is a dedicated triage room, three waiting areas, including a separate space for adolescents and six assessment rooms. For nurse manager of the new department, Carrie Marriott, it is an ideal space for young people who are suffering with all kinds of medical issues. It is so much better, she said. It is purpose designed light and airy, and has a range of great facilities including some new additions such as a dedicated injuries assessment area, a safe area for patients presenting in mental health crisis, a high dependency bed space, and a private feeding room. The department has already been operating since August 4, and since then, it has seen on average 70 young people per day. But NGH's chief executive Hyde Smolt said that the Princess Royal coming to open the new area was a morale boost for the staff. HRH The Princess Royal chats with Donna Robinson, a theatre sister who is retiring after 45 years at NGH. Image. NGH. This is an important new facility for the hospital which will help us to deliver pediatric care in the right dedicated environment, Ms. Smolt said. We were deeply honoured that the Princess Royal agreed to open the department, and this was a great morale boost for staff in the department, and indeed the whole hospital, after all of the difficulties of the COVID pandemic. The new department will help us to provide the right kind sensitive care for children and adolescents and means our hard-working staff have a much improved working environment. What do you think about this incident? Leave a comment below this video now. Subscribe to stay up to date with us.